Welcome to episode 4 of Beginner Web Design. And in this episode, we're just going to be going over a few simple formatting elements. Now, there's really not much to be said in this episode because HTML is not for editing the look and feel of your page. And it should never, ever be mistaken for that. Editing the style and how it looks should be reserved for CSS and not HTML. The reason why so many people forget this is because they just don't feel like learning another language. And that's not the way to go because even if we did solely use HTML for editing the look and feel, it still would not be as good quality as a website that takes advantage of CSS properties. Also, in HTML4, there was an element called font and font pretty much allowed you allowed you to set the font family the font size the uh, the color um, uh, just a whole bunch of different things that you can use to really set the typeface and the problem was was that it kind of eliminated the use of CSS and CSS should never be eliminated because even if you did use the font element, there was a very limited range of options and it's just not semantic to have that in your website. So as of HTML5, that's pretty much deprecated and you really can't use that anymore. It, it'll still render correctly in browsers, but it's just not proper code. So the few formatting elements that are included in HTML5 I'm going to be going over with you in this episode. So this is just the basic setup that we uh, figured out how to make in the last episode and uh, I just have a few pieces of text here in my body and let's say I wanted to make the second word bold. Well we can just type open tag B close tag and then on the other side, we type the ending tag, which is the same thing, just with the slash before the B. Now, if we go ahead and preview this, we will see that this second word is bold. Now, if we want to make the third one italic, we could do that with using the I tag. And we get that word in italics. Now, we can also insert a strike through, so we can use S. And now the word sit here is crossed out. Uh, that's really important if you want to maybe make an edit to a blog post or something like that. You can just show, you know, where you took out information. And then we have headers. So there are six headers in HTML. And they are all predefined, meaning that they all have a specific font size already and uh, margins and padding it's all set to go but CSS can edit this information and make your headings any size or style that you would like so here I have set up the six different headers which are pretty easy to memorize it's just h1 for header 1 h2 h3 and so on so if we type in header 1 here and we can just type in some text and we get the different look of each of these headers so you can see the header one is the most important and the most imposing one which is really great for titles and uh, header two more of subtitles three sub subtitles and it can go on and you can just use these in any format that you would like anytime you need a header you can just pick one right from those the next thing I have to go over is that the B and I elements have sister elements and by that I mean they have elements that mimic the exact same effect. So for example, I'm going to type out the word bold here in a B element and then below that I'm going to use strong as my element. I'm going to type in bold. And if we preview it, it has the same exact look. There's nothing different about it. So most people will just say, oh, well, I can use either one. I might as well use the B. It's shorter. But that's not typically the case. 
This actually matters more or less in screen readers or anything that reads the screen out loud for the visually impaired. So the problem here is that they both actually do two different things for the screen readers. B and I will both only change the effect of how it looks. So you're just making it look bold. It's not making the text any different. However, when we use strong, the screen reader will actually speak it much differently, which with more impacting force, because it's really something bold, it's strong, and it's powerful. It's not just a visual element. So you just have to use B or strong based on the context, really. So if you only want the B because you need that specific piece of text to be nice and heavy, then just use that. But if you really want it to be strong as part of a paragraph, something that's really important, then you would probably go with the strong tag. Now, as for I, its sister element is EM. And that actually stands for emphasis. So again, this is the exact same thing. M will sound a little bit different to screen, le screen readers and I is really just the visual effect. So this is all you need to know really for uh, formatting elements in HTML. Anything else that you want to do, any other visual effects that you want to achieve, really should be left for CSS. And don't worry, we will be getting into CSS as soon as we finish the HTML part of the series.